Hey everybody, we're live at the season four premiere for Servant, Apple TV's latest drama. I hope you enjoy our interviews with the cast and crew. First of all, congrats. Four seasons, incredible. I want to know, what was your biggest takeaway from doing this show so far? My biggest takeaway. I hate to say it again, I bring it up. You're the third person I'm bringing it up in a row. Kundalini Yoga, probably. <laughs> it bring that, brought that to my life and, you know, I will never never be without that so that's one of the biggest things it brought to my life overall as an artist as a person definitely but of the show itself I mean memories and you know being in the presence again of people who are so talented so wonderful is just a gift I'm really grateful for so far I've been learning that everyone's been loving the production it's probably one of the best one most members of the cast is not all has been on what was your experience like working with everybody? Did you have any fun memories or hijinks on set? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Also because, you know, now and everybody really, uh, the leading cast is genuinely made of genuine people, you know, and good people who are not egotistical in that sense and so very open and, and we had a lot, you know, to share in that sense of being, you know, part of this very tight, um, tight group. So, yeah. I love it. Did you have any favorite scenes from the upcoming season? Mm -hmm. This season? So you've seen? The, you've seen oh, just from you, did you have anything that's, that you want to share or talk about that you love doing share. without spoiling anything? Without spoiling. So I can't... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Manager, <laughs> reminding me. I don't want to get you in trouble either. <laughs> no, I'd say, you know, I'll pick just a scene from the last season. I really liked my first scene. Uh, I think it's... I don't know if it's my first scene in the show, actually, that we see, but it's the first scene I shot. Uh, when I'm by, you know, I'm going to Sean and he's bringing this pizza and it's the first time we're meeting him. Uh, that was that was the best for me because actually we hadn't talked. I just met the actors, you know, aside from in the table read, which is very different. Uh, and so for my first time right away being on and having, you know, not exchange anything was just, yeah, it was really cool to experience that and just go for it and yeah. Last quick question. What do you want audiences to go into this show seeing this Friday? What do I want them to see? What do you, what do you want to tell them going into the show this Friday? What is frightening? No, what do you want to tell them going into this Friday when it premieres? Oh. Sorry, my bad. It's getting loud. I'm uh, Matilda needs earring aids. <laughs> uh, you know what? Be fucking scared because it's coming. <laughs> yeah. I love it. Thank you so much. After four years on the show, can't believe the journey is coming close to an end now. I want to know, what was your biggest takeaway from doing the series? Um, I think I've said a couple of times, I've had such an amazingly fun time on this show. It's been such a blast. And I have a really, really wacky character. I don't know if you've seen any of it, but it's pretty out there. Um, it's probably the most fun I've had in 30 years. It's so much fun. That's my biggest takeaway. What do you think set this experience apart from everything else? Because you've got a very large body of work. Um, it was so extreme, and yet at the same time very, very nuanced. Um, I think I was telling uh, this gentleman, we, we, uh, I got a, a, a note from Knight at, at the callback five years ago. Uh, he said, you're going to be like a, a serial killer or a cult leader, or you're some space alien who's borrowing a cadaver. He said, can you go with all those? I'm like, mm, uh, sure. And that just kind of set the tone. And I realized it's, you know, they're just going to make massive pools of Everything. creative water and they're just going to say jump. And as long as it's safe, we just went, yeah, sure. I'm old. And then we just got to play. We get to play with all that. I love it. When you open up a pitch like that, that you know it's going to be a winner. What was your favorite scene to shoot from this season without spoiling anything? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what I can say without giving it away. Okay. Um, Nell and I got to do an amazing scene in a dungeon. I'm not spoiling everything. Okay, that, I'll take that. That's great. I want to know, what was your biggest takeaway from doing this season? Mm, oh my gosh, that's such a hard question because I think this show taught me in particular so much. I came on, I think, when I was 19 and sort of three years of the show really taught me sort of how to be a more muscular artist. Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's about you know, pr that you can expect precision from any art form um, and strive for kind of high cinema. So, yeah, I don't know anything specific, but sort of that energy. Mm -hmm. Did you have a favorite scene that you shot or wrote that for this upcoming season? Hmm. There's 
there's one one sequence in the third episode of the fourth season that was sort of like an eight minute scene that I wrote um, and that's a really particular kind of beast to, to understand how to do but it was really cool because we sort of integrated all this fun camera movement um, and this sort of evolution of visual language through it so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that sequence <laughs> yes I love to hear it and I'm gonna get some insight into the production it sounds like this was one of the funnest productions for everyone involved to be a part of that um, at such a young age and learning under that, what was that like for you? Yeah, I mean, I don't think you could ask for a better environment to be a young filmmaker uh, in this industry. Like, coming in, there's obviously nerves and there's sort of um, an intensity about entering a world like this, but it was such a, a supportive environment and people of all ages and uh, kind of backgrounds came together and got to become this, this family for these four years that we were doing this. I love it. Uh, uh, final question. What's one thing you want audiences to look forward to come this Friday? Mm. I mean, I think this season is bigger in scope um, and in concept, so it's just a complete ride, I think, from start to finish, and very excited to see how, how the audience will react to that. Doing the final series season of any series is a very special occasion. I want to know, what was your biggest takeaway from doing this season? Well, what's crazy is their final season was my first season. Um, and so as a result, I hope what I provided was a little bit of that fresh blood, fresh air, silly whimsy. Because, you know, they, they've been through a lot. It's um, That journey of that series is just, you know, blow your hair back. Um, my biggest takeaway, I swear to goodness, is the ex kind of the excitement of like, I don't know how this turns out. I mean, I do, but I don't. And so I'm very excited by that. But um, the people, I mean, I, I just really feel that I was given this amazing gift to work with this amazing team put together by an amazing team. And I always felt really supported and I know that has less to do about the the series you know um, but but within itself it was a perfect experience I love it and it's the people that make the magic of screen happen right so I fully agree Boris gave us some really interesting insight that this was the funnest production he's been a part of in his 30 in the past 30 years oh my gosh when I finally met Boris and we have the same agent um, HZKR and uh, when I finally met him I'd been watching his work for you know a really long time like I said I'm a I was a stage actor moved to New York and became a film actor okay um, which is really fun but uh, when I met him I literally just I just went oh my god I'm such a fan of yours. And, it, you know, and it's that kind of thing where you don't feel like there's an us and them. I felt like I was absorbed into a family, and that's just quite a gift. I love it. That's, like, the great thing with this day and age, especially with streaming. All the old walls have come down. Did you feel there's anything special about being an Apple TV production as opposed to traditional TV or traditional film? One of the things I love about Apple TV is they are now the new... Uh, uh, what is the word? Old person brain. Um, they're the ones to watch. The new innovators. They're the risk takers. Um, which I kind of go, okay, look out, because these people are doing some really bold for the sake of doing the work as opposed to feeding the machine, which I think is really is really pretty exciting. I love it. And the last thing. What's something you want audiences to look forward to as the show kicks off this Friday? <laughs> That's uh, pretty, pretty unexpected. I, I want them to look forward to the unexpected. I want them to be on the edge of their seat saying, I have to wait another week? Yeah. We're fine. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I want them to. I want them to be on the edge. Of, I want them to replay it in their head. I want them to have their coffee and cocktail conversations about. No, really. What did you think that moment was really about? I didn't know because there are so many. There's so many possibilities. I think it really keeps you on the edge of your seat. I got to say, after such a long and storied career, continually coming out with new and creative ideas, how do you get inspired to do new things so frequently? What's your secret? Gosh, I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm really 
inspired right now, and I have a lot of great ideas. I'm about three movies behind, so in, in ideas. So I've never had that. So where I've been like, oh, I know the next three movies in my head. I know them. Um, so it's maybe I don't know. Maybe I've burned off a certain kind of trying to be validating. You know, having the industry or the audience response validate me. I think that's exhausting. You know, and maybe I'm just been around and so old now that I'm like, you know. Anyway, I just want to tell the story. You know, when you start, I mean, in many ways, the only thing you're listening to is the character, and I want to know how the story ends. So that, that's a fun thing. When I look at my heroes, like literary heroes, Agatha Christie or Stephen King, they just get up every morning and they write, and they just want to know how the story is going to end. Then they get really excited. So you do that, get to the end, then you think of another story and another kind of, whoa, I wonder what's going to happen now. And then you get up every day and I get addicted to that part of the process. How is, the, how is this story going to finish? And then you guys can feel that when I'm just coming from the characters in the story. Congrats on doing four seasons of this show. I gotta say, after doing a show for four years, what was your biggest takeaway from doing this experience? Um, yeah, I mean, so many things. I think kind of just being on a show for four years is, is great. It just feels like a, a huge achievement. Um, it's gone way beyond what I kind of originally thought. And um, Yeah, the way it's kind of changed and developed and kind of taken new directions, is you, you can never predict it, which I love. It's a very thrilling show to be a part of and um, so unique in the fact that it's kind of all set in this one place and this kind of small group of characters, and it's it's just a fascinating place to have play drama. I love it. First of all, congrats. Four seasons is incredible. But after four seasons and such a special time with the series ending, what was your big takeaway from this entire experience and journey you've been on? Wow, that's the question. It's kind of the only question. It's all the questions. Um, I think that I learned how to stand up for myself in, in, and, and rid myself of some of my natural nervousness, can you tell? Um, and I think I learned that it doesn't really matter where you are or what you're doing, the people around you having so many different ideas and thoughts and all these new amazing directors and I think that that is such an enriching, cool experience and my castmates taught me everything I need to know and Knight being the captain of the ship was pretty much the cherry on top so I think the takeaway from this series is that you're capable of doing stuff that you didn't necessarily think you could if you have the right people with you. Thank you so much for joining us. This might have been one of the nicest casts we've ever interviewed. I hope you enjoy the show. Thanks. Thanks.